Hello friends and welcome back to Unbound Learners Pre-K. How was your weekend? Did you get to do anything fun? That's so great to hear. Let's start off our circle time by singing our good morning song together. We're going to stretch our arms out like airplane wings and fly your airplane to one side, fly your airplane to the other side, fly your airplane back to the middle, and stretch those arms into a big circle out in front of you like this. Now take that circle up over your head and stretch from one side, stretch over to the other side, and one last stretch up at the top before we bring our circle back down. Now it's time to sing together. Good morning, dear earth. Good morning, dear sun. Good morning, dear rocks and flowers everyone. Good morning, dear beast and birds in the trees. Good morning to you and good morning to me. Good morning, friends. I hope that you're having a wonderful day so far. And let's get started with circle time. So behind me, we have the calendar and weather chart. And the first thing that we do is go over the date. When we say the date, we start off with the month. The month is right up here. Do you know what the month is? April. That's right. The month is April. And today is April 19th. So let's move the chip over from the number 16. That was the last time that we met. So we'll move it from 16, 17, 18, and put it on the number 19, because today is April 19th, 2021. Or you can also say that the year is 2021. Both ways are correct. Friends, will you say the date one more time with me? Today is April 19th, 2021 or 2021. Can I see your counting fingers like this? We need to count all the days that we've had so far in the month of April. And we have quite a lot of counting to do today. So let's also take a deep breath like this. We're going to breathe the air in through our nose and out through your mouth. One more time. Now that we took a deep breath and our counting fingers are warmed up, let's count the days. We'll start up at the top with the number one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. We have had 19 days so far in the month of April. And look at this friends, the month of April is almost over. So now it's time to sing the Days of the Week song. And for this song, we hold up seven fingers like this because we have seven days in the week. If you know the words, you can sing along with me. There are seven days, there are seven days, there are seven days in a week. Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. Let's travel down to the bottom of the chart. This says that yesterday was, here's your clue, su Sunday. Yesterday was Sunday, the last day of the weekend. So that means that today is M. Monday. Today is Monday, the first day of the weekday. And tomorrow will be, here's your clue, t Tuesday. Tomorrow will be Tuesday. But let's go back to today and let's sing today is, to is Monday together. It goes like this. Today is Monday, today is Monday, today is Monday, all day long. Today is Monday, today is Monday, today is Monday, all day long. Okay friends, 
let's travel back up to the top of the chart. Right up here, we have the season. Do you know what the season is? Spring! It's springtime. And for the month of April, we have been talking all about the springtime, all about the baby animals that are born in the springtime. And this week, we are going to start a new focus. I'll tell you more about that later on in circle time. But for now, let's sing the weather song together. What's the weather? What's the weather? Can you tell? Can you tell? Is the sun shining? Is the rain falling? Can you tell? Can you tell? Friends, do you see my picture down here? This is a picture of a cloud and the sun because when I look outside of my window, it's mostly cloudy. There are a lot of puffy white cumulus clouds in the sky, but I do see the sun poking through the clouds. And my temperature chart is on orange because it's warm out. It's a warm, partly sunny day where I live. What's the weather like where you live, friends? Will you look out your window and let me know what you see? Do you see any clouds in the sky? Or maybe the rain is falling? Maybe you have a clear sunny day. Thanks for sharing the weather with me. And now let's move on to the letter, the number, and the sign of the week. So because today is Monday, we have a new letter to talk about. This letter says N, N. Can you make that sound with me? N, N. And this is a lowercase n. N says N, N. So friends, I have something, but it is too fragile and a little bit too large to put inside of the letter box today. So I just have it up in front of me like this. It's something that starts with the letter N, N. So this is something that's pretty fragile. It's made out of sticks or small branches and dried grass and sometimes mud and some feathers. And this is something that you would find in a tree. Do you know what it could be? Let's take a look. I have a nest. Nest starts with the letter N. N. So this is not an actual bird's nest. It's springtime now and I did not want to take a bird's nest from a tree because the birds are still using their nests right now so that they can hatch their eggs. But I just made this nest out of some dried um, stems and a little bit of twigs and I just wrapped it around together like this. It's pretty fragile so I didn't want to put it inside of the box. Nest starts with the letter N. N. This is how you write a lowercase n, n. One more time. And we also have a new number to talk about. This is a double digit number. So in the past, up until now, our double digits number started with the number one. But today, our double digit number starts with this number. This number is the number 20. And 20 begins with the number two. Two zero is how you write the number 20. I'm going to grab my piece of chalk behind me so that we can count 20 tally marks together. Are you ready to count with me? One, two, three, four, five goes across, six, seven, eight, nine, ten goes across, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen goes across, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, 19 and 20 goes across. Look at this friends, we completed this group of five. 
So let's take our counting fingers and let's count the groups of five that we see. Are you ready? One, two, three, four. Four groups of five make 20. And now let's take a look inside of the number box and see what we have to count today. I have a bunch of these small branches called twigs. And when we count the twigs, I line them up just like I draw the tally marks. Will you count them with me? One, two, three, four, five goes across, six, seven, eight, nine, ten goes across, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen goes across, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, and 20 goes across. So four groups of five twigs makes 20 twigs all together. So we've gone over the new letter of the week and the new number of the week. And now it's time to go over the new sign of the week. This week, I'm going to teach you how to say flower in sign language. Remember friends, sign language is a language that uses hand gestures and facial expressions to communicate instead of speaking out loud. This is how you say flower in sign language. So you're going to take one of your hands and you're going to bring your thumb behind your fingers like this and then bring that hand to your nose and touch each one of your nostrils like this. So it's like you're smelling the flowers. Will you show me how to say flower in sign language? That's right, friends, and let's do that one more time together. Flower. Just like spring is a time for baby animals, it's also a time for plants to grow back. The snow melts and the grass turns green again, the leaf buds open on the trees, and colorful flowers bloom. But maybe you live in a place where it doesn't get cold in the wintertime, so the plants just continue to grow. I live in a place that gets very cold and snowy in the winter time, so I especially appreciate new growth in the spring. Some plants are annual, and that means that you need to replant the seeds each year for them to come back. But perennial plants come back every year. What does a plant start as? A seed. And what does a seed need to grow? Can you think of anything? It needs soil or dirt water, and sunlight. But let's take a closer look at some examples of perennial and annual seeds. So here we have some examples of some perennial and annual seeds. This is a little branch that's from a larch tree. And a larch tree produces pine cones. And inside of the pine cones are the seeds. So on each scale of the pine cone, there are about two seeds per scale. And a larch tree is a perennial, so that means that it comes back every year. This one is interesting. This is a seed pod from an aspen tree. An aspen tree is also a perennial, which means that it comes back every year. This seed pod is very soft and fluffy. It almost reminds me of a caterpillar. Let's move on to this seed. So unlike the others, this is an annual. This is a sunflower seed. And because it's an annual, that means that it has to be planted every year in order for it to grow. So I grew sunflowers in my garden last year, but they won't come back this year I have to plant a new seed this summer in order to have a new sunflower plant. And here is another example of a perennial. So this is an acorn, and this acorn came from a red oak tree in my yard, and inside 
of this small little acorn is a seed and an oak tree is a perennial so it will come back every year. So the next time that you're outside or near a garden, take a look on the ground and see if you can find any seeds. Are you ready to see your work for the day? Let's go check it out. For today's work, you will need some dried beans. I'm using some dried pinto beans. And for this work, dried pinto beans or lima beans or lentils will work best. You're going to need a paper towel, a Ziploc baggie, and a spray bottle. So in order for these seeds or beans to germinate, it needs plenty of water and sunlight. So take your spray bottle and you're going to spray the paper towel. Really make sure that it's damp, but not soaked. You don't want the beans to have too much water. And put it inside of the paper of the Ziploc bag like this. And the last step is to take your beans or seeds and put them inside of the bag as well. Close up the bag. So you can see that the beans will be getting the water from the wet paper towel. And in order to get sunlight, you're going to take your Ziploc bag and just tape it up in a window and watch the beans begin to germinate and grow. And when the paper towel starts drying up, every few days just give it a spray of water, but not too much, and watch your beans sprout and germinate. Let's get back to circle time. Welcome back to circle time, friends. Before we go, I have a song to share with you. And it goes like this. Spring's the time for a garden, a garden, a garden. Spring's the time for a garden. Hey, ho, hum. Dig the hole in the garden, the garden, the garden. Dig a hole in the garden. Hey, ho, hum. Plant the seed in the garden, the garden, the garden. Plant the seed in a garden. Hey, ho, hum. Water the seed in the garden, a garden, a garden. Water the seed in the garden. Hey, ho, hum. Sun will shine in the garden, the garden, the garden. Sun will shine in the garden. Hey, ho, hum. Thanks for learning with me today, everyone. If you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel. Give this video a thumbs up and find me on OutSchool for my live and interactive classes. You can also support my channel by checking out my Patreon page and gain access to bonus features for your child. Before we go, we have one last song to sing. Can you wave goodbye like this? Goodbye, friends. Goodbye, friends. Goodbye, friends. I'll see you next time. Have a great day, everyone, and I'll see you tomorrow.